It was 60 years ago. That was when Godzilla first appeared. A 50 meter tall kaiju that laid ruin to a city center. Godzilla may not have been fast on his feet, but the threat he posed to mankind was undeniable. We know that Godzilla's claws and his powerful tail constitute his primary means of attack. We also have it on record that he used his oversized upper body to charge at his target. He also lets loose atomic breath, a blast attack from his mouth which can turn a town into a sea of fire in seconds. This is all the biological data we currently have on record. But we know very little about how or why he possesses such unimaginable powers. At the time, Godzilla returned to the sea at the dear cost of Professor Sarazawa's life. So many paid the ultimate sacrifice back then. But humanity gained two valuable things as a result. The first is G-Energy. As a result of our studies, we discovered the very essence of Godzilla's life force and turned it into a powerful fuel for humanity. Now, without G-Energy, our civilization would fall apart within a very short span of time. The second is G-Force. If the worst should happen in Godzilla or anything of equal threat to mankind should ever appear again, G-Force is there to remove the threat. And that's where you come in, ma'am. As far as the public knows, G-Force is merely a response unit created to handle disasters. If you learn anything, you'll contact me immediately, correct? So now, after 60 years, there are signs that Godzilla has returned. I'll give you the short explanation, ma'am. Should Godzilla ever appear again, we will need you and the Cabinet to set the disaster level. We at G-Force will then respond accordingly. So I'm ultimately responsible for our strategy to Godzilla. I will not hesitate to act, soldier, although it may very well cost me my political career. <laughs> <laughs>